Those palms are old. This is their fifth year of use. I'm just stalling because there's so much stuff I gotta take in to carry. You guys, I think I'm obsessed. I haven't heard anything else about it yet. It could be one of those things they spring on you. Good morning, my name is Katie. I am going into my fifth year of teaching. I will be teaching third grade this year, and you are here for part six of my classroom setup series. All right, I'm here this morning. I have a couple of things to do. Um, first order of business, I went by Chick-fil-A. I got a free reward yesterday for free chicken minis and they expired today. So I got the reward yesterday and it expired today. So of course I had to get the minis. So I'm sitting at my back table, which if you saw my last setup video, you know I finally set up my little area. I don't know how I feel about the big horseshoe shape yet, but it's not bad. Um, my table usually ends up being like my workspace area where I spend most of my time. So um, we'll just test it out and see, but I'm gonna, you know, like, christen the table by eating Chick-fil-A, some chicken minis, and sip it on a coffee. Just gonna get that started. Oh man, look at my straw. That's what I get for wrapping the bag up really tight, but I didn't want my nuggets to get cold. Okay. Mm. All right, so what I figured I would do to start off while I'm eating my breakfast is do a little mini haul because a lot of stuff came in the mail the last few days and I have brought it up to school. So let me show you the things that I brought because that's probably gonna be where I start this morning is just like putting out the things that I brought up here. Black calendar pocket chart. I will be putting my calendar up today. I don't know, probably on that front board, I think. I don't know. I'll be hanging it up and setting up the, Oct or not October, the August dates in the calendar. So that's exciting. Got that from my Amazon wish list. So if you sent that to me, it did not come with a note, but thank you so much. I have a lot of things from Amazon um, from my friends Kaylin and my friend Marisol who follow me here and on Instagram. So thank you so much. I got little lights. I've already shared all this on my Instagram too. So I'm just gonna be brief. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. You'll see it first. The little lights that I wanna use for the bathroom. Um, so I, I said this on my Instagram too. If you have any suggestions for how to, um, ooh, I like it, how to put them on the wall, let me know. I've heard like command strip Velcro. I don't know if you mean like the plastic one or if they have like an actual Velcro because if it was an actual Velcro, I feel like it would be better. But these are, oh. I'm gonna have to figure out how to program these. I like that, that's pretty cool though. Um, anyways, I will have to figure out how to program those, I suppose. Um, good thing it comes with a manual so I can figure out how to like click it on and click it off and they don't have batteries They charge with like a little cord. That's why I'm gonna need to have to like take them off the wall and put them back on the wall So we will have to mess with those. I also got a ton of chapter books the lemonade series I got Crenshaw Unicorn Adventures the Chocolate Touch, and the one and only Ivan. And I believe all of these things were from Kaylin. Yes, so thank you Kaylin so much if you're watching. I know I've already thanked you on Instagram, but thank you again. It's all officially in my classroom today. Let's see, do the box there. Um, this one's heavy too. I got all of these things in here. Two of these are from my aunt, my Aunt Ellie. So I got magnet blocks for my stem bins, so excited. And she also sent me this book which I'm pumped to use as my first day of school read aloud, our class is a family. So those two things were from my aunt. And then this came without a note as well, emoji erasers. I will hopefully show you in like the next couple of vlogs what I'm planning to do with these, but I'm excited to have those. And then I got a package in the mail um, with a new Danny book. So I was really excited about that. It was what should Danny do on vacation? I now have Darla, I have Danny at school, and now I have Danny on vacation. So my students have always loved these. If you haven't seen the Danny and Darla books, you should go check them out because they're great. Um, and that's all in this box. And I think I have one more box in here. Yes, these are the ones from Marisol. So thank you Marisol for sending these. I've got Dogman collection. 
a must have, and Ramona Quimby collection. So I've got a lot of chapter books to log today and put on that bottom shelf where my chapter books have been, have been living. And then I also have math, multiplication, war, and then things that I didn't bring in today. I have two big chart papers at home, like chart tablets of paper that I did not bring in. And then I did make a stop this morning after Chick-fil-A by Target to get makeup. They didn't have what I needed for makeup, but I did get these because I've started to read things about like people putting student names on desks in cursive in third grade so they know what their name looks like in cursive. So now I'm torn. I don't know if I'm gonna do a name tag or if I'm gonna do the number tags. So I went ahead and picked up these and I figured like whichever one I don't use, if I don't use the name tag shape ones, I can return them. Or if I don't use the square ones that I bought last time I went to Target, I can return those. So I'm still like going back and forth. Do I want name tags or do I just want their classroom or like their, their student number on their desk? I'm not sure. So I have that too. Now my desk is like a huge mess, which is fine. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you. I got, hold on, this adorable door hanger for my classroom from a sweet friend on Instagram from her Etsy shop. So I will like put her little Instagram handle down here and I will link her Etsy shop in the description. How cute is this little door hanger? I cannot wait to hang this up. Matches my theme with all the colors. Look at how like, I mean, it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna link it in the description if you wanna go get a door hanger like this one and Instagram handle will be below. So that is all the stuff that I have brought in today. Also that came in really quick. Like she messaged me, we got the order all squared away and it was there by the end of the week. So really quick shipping, quick turnaround and really great quality. So that's all I have today um, that I'm bringing in. And I say that like it wasn't a lot, and it was, that's a ton of stuff. <laughs> My table is now completely full. I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. I have a reading curriculum here, all that stuff here, empty bag, Chick-fil-A, there's stuff everywhere. And I keep kicking the chair with the tripod in it. Um, I think what I'm gonna do first is finish eating, obviously, and then put all of these things from Amazon away where they're supposed to go in the classroom. Um, then I really do need to finish my borders on my front board, which will require me going down to the laminator. So I might do that today and I might work on my friends and family letters. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things that I'm going to try to get done. I need to log these books. So this part six may end up being like a hodgepodge of just like random things that I still need to accomplish today. So I hope you're ready. It could be random and that's okay. Hope you're um, ready and along for the ride because Classroom Setup Part 6 is about to begin. <laughs> Okay, I am getting everything pulled up on my computer. While I'm doing that, my coffee was driving me nuts because it was getting water everywhere and this one's too small for my Java sock. And then I remembered I have a drink floaty. So that was very exciting to remember. Um, and also if you're new here, what I'm about to do is log all of the new books that I got. They're right here, let me show you. There's all the new books. So what I do is I take a book and every time I get a new one, I put it into a spreadsheet that I made on Google. So it's like a, what's that called? Google Sheets document. I log the book by title and by author's last name. And then I also have categories, like if it's a chapter book, I put CB for chapter book. Um, and I have just like a huge running list of every book I have in my classroom library. If you are interested in how I do my classroom library and wanna know more, I will link a video above in the cards because last summer I just reorganized the whole thing by author's last name. And I've had a lot of people comment and mention using like um, book bins or doing things like that. And I just like having it by author's last name because I'm able to find everything easily. And like the book bin categories kind of stress me out because not every book's gonna fit in a category. And so then I'm always like, well, what do I do with the books that don't fit in a category? 
blah, blah, blah. So that's why I just chose to do it in alphabetical order. I'm keeping my chapter books separate though because that, like if my students are browsing through picture books, they want something different than going through chapter books. So I am keeping those separate. Um, but it's also good for me to have a list because I think there's been some talk in the state of Florida about some kind of um, initiative or something that's gonna be passed that's gonna require teachers to like basically be able to report any book that's in their library, which I don't know if that's actually gonna happen or not. It was kind of one of those things that was mentioned last year at a faculty meeting and then never brought up again and now I've switched schools. So I don't know if like we're actually gonna have to do that, but there was talk that like every book we have in our classroom library would have to be vetted by the, um, by the school librarian. And in the back of my mind, I was thinking, well, that stinks first off, because that's a lot of work. But then I was so grateful that I had this list of books because if that does happen, because I haven't heard anything else about it yet, so it could be one of those things they spring on you. But if it does happen, I have an entire list of every book that's in my library and I can just send it and say, here are all my books and I'll be good to go. Um, but hopefully it doesn't come down to that. I don't know. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do is take all these books, I'm opening them up right now. I'm gonna log them by title and author's last name and then I will put them on my bookshelf so they are squared away. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh gosh, I'm bumping the desk. I'm gonna go ahead and start logging these books. All right, people, it is time for an update because I have been working, 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 working. All right, first thing I did, I think that you saw was I set up my calendar. I decided to put it on this board right here, which is where I had it last year because if my table, my like teaching table is right here because that's where the document camera has to go, then this won't be as accessible to write on as a whiteboard because I'll have to be like, 
in front of it and the table will be there. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put my schedule cards there too and just make this like the classroom information board. So we have our calendar, our schedule, stuff like that. And the other board over here is left empty and I'll probably leave it empty so I can write on it like an actual whiteboard. I use the smart board and the easy note app to do that too, but last year I didn't have like a whiteboard I could actually write on. So it always helps to have a whiteboard. And if you have a sub and the sub can't use the smart board or doesn't know how, they can use that. Second thing that I did was I finished up the black border. I have not finished printing this border and I have not finished laminating the border that goes over there, but I wanted to do the black border in the back of the room. So I went ahead and did the rest of the square there and the rest of the square right here with the black border. That way I could come, you're just getting to move all around today, all the way back here and do this in the border, which I really like. I did add, <laughs> it's kind of falling down, that little banner to make it even. Um, I hot glued it while it was up there and so it's kind of sagging a little bit. It was not my brightest idea. I should have taken it off, but it worked. Like it's holding, so that's good. Um, what else did I do? I put labels on my stem bin buckets. Um, I just used double-sided st double stick tape or whatever. They look great. I discovered those blocks that I brought. Need a bigger box. I have some on my Amazon wish list, so I'll just hold out on getting those. But, um, and then what else did I do while I was busy, busy, busy? Um, I put up the affirmation mirror right here. Let me spin you around and show you. All right, here's the affirmation mirror. This is the same, it's a little tall. Last year I had it a little low. Now I think I might've put it up a little tall, but it's okay. I have third graders this year, so they're taller. Um, this is the same affirmation set that I did last year. I just made it on PowerPoint. And I think it matches pretty well with what I got going. There's like a close up if you wanna see. I think it's focused on me, not on the mirror. There we go. Yep. <laughs> All right, the next task that I did was I went ahead and hung the palms, one above each table, so each table is a color group. Um, as you could see, those palms are old. This is their fifth year of use, but it is easier to fluff ones that have already been fluffed and squish in a box than it is to fluff fresh ones. I know that sounds surprising, but when I did those my first year, it was actually more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So I have those all hung, and then I always hang the spares in kind of like a little formation just somewhere so I thought I kind of like that back by the, the table it just adds a little something to that back wall because the back wall was looking really big and empty and like I said in my last one I refuse to put that all the way across because I'm trying to find the trash can I keep moving them around here it is um because that would just be really extra so that's kind of what we've got going there I actually really like that um and you could tell that they're like so faded by the sun I think the pink was the worst one. It's just ombre now, right? That's trendy. Um, but you could tell when I was fluffing it, like the center of the pink. Let's see if I can show you. Here we go. The center of the pink is really dark. And then if you look, sorry, that probably made you really dizzy. At the outside, it's like pale now. So that's what you get for reusing the same palms for five years in a row, but not bad. I think I had like extra ones that hadn't been unfolded, but I don't know if I kept those or if I got rid of them in my last move. So I was doing that because I was trying to clear off this counter over here from all the random stuff. I was trying to just get rid of the random stuff that's still sitting over there, find a home for it. So I'm gonna continue doing that. Um, yeah, also did I show you that I finished the border for this board right here? I don't remember if I showed you this or not. Ta-da! If I did, great, I showed you twice. Um, and then I didn't, I ran out of ink and so I'm almost done with this one, very, very close. I can print it tonight and laminate it and bring it the next time I'm here. So I'm gonna continue clearing off this back counter. I don't know if you can hear how 
loudly it is pouring right now. Do you hear the thunder and the rain? I will not be leaving here for a while. And I have somewhere to be at 4.30. It's only 2.30 right now. So hopefully this will like go by in an hour. Then I'll be able to go home and get ready. But oh my gosh, let me just like show you. Look at that. Oh my gosh. While it's raining, I have been unbundling my Christmas lights and I think I'm gonna put them around the back of the room this year instead of the front. Last year I did it around the front board, but then when the lights are off, like the that board still keeps like light in the front. So I'm thinking like it would be cute to have it back there. Um, but I'm gonna like get up there and kind of hang it there for now and not hook it up there and use the command hooks yet because I don't wanna to commit to that yet. So y'all can let me know in the comments if you think it should go in the back or in the front. I may have already decided by the time this goes up, but still, let me know what you think. Okay, here's what we have so far. What I would do is probably put command hooks up here along that seam to hold the lights up so they're not drooping down here because I think that would take care of the slack. I don't mind if they go down on the side, but I don't want them bunched up on the floor right there. Um, so I think if I put command strips right there or hooks right there, it would hook that up. And then I realized I have all these hooks on the whiteboard that'll hold it so I don't have to do command hooks all the way around. But I still have a little bit of slack right here. Not bad. <coughs> and then these don't hold them as, these don't hold them as good as the hooks, but I don't know how to move the hooks to like space some of the hooks out a little more. But then like the slack is back there, so you can't see where it's, I kind of like it. Let me like back up so we can see full scale what it looks like it's not bad I think it's kind of fun all right let's see what it looks like well, I don't know how to turn the lights off actually yeah like the lights I actually don't know how to turn the lights off at all because the lights are like censored so when somebody's in here they're on so I'm not really sure I'll have to figure that out Good morning, it is a Monday morning and I'm back here at school. We have seven days until teachers come back for in-service days. So I'm putting the final touches on my room now. Um, I've made a lot of progress. I have a ton of stuff in the back that I've gotten from Amazon packages and that bag that I emptied out at the beginning of the video, the big blue bag, yeah, it's full again. <laughs> so here I am. I have a couple of hours, like literally two, to work in my classroom because then I have a training this afternoon and then I have to go to the district office to get a new badge. So. I've got a full afternoon planned and I'm hoping to get just a couple of things done in my room this morning, add some things that I've printed um, and just put away the things that are in that blue bag. And that's like the main goal. That's it. Um, I am not thrilled, but I'm wearing blue jeans today. I love my shirt, scarlet and gold Auburn shirt. Um, so I was like, oh, one of my favorite, one of my favorite t-shirts to hype me up. Um, but I'm putting on blue jeans because I'm going to a training at the district office this afternoon. And I was like, I just don't feel comfortable rolling up in shorts and a t-shirt at this training. Granted, I'm just in jeans and a t-shirt. So I don't know if that's like much better, but, um, I'm grateful because I'm here early. So it's not super hot. And then I'm also parked under a tree. So the shade should be over my car while I'm here working. That way when I get back in my car, it won't be as hot as it could be because then I got to drive across town to get to district stuff. So I am going to have my hands full on my way in. I have my water cup. I've already drank one when I had my breakfast this morning. And I have my cold brew coffee from home this morning because I am working on getting up at 7 a.m. again. And that's been difficult, retraining myself to wake up early. And yeah, that's all I got. So I'm just stalling because there's so much stuff I got to take in to carry and I'm not looking forward to carrying it all, but we're gonna get it all in and we're gonna get started. Three, two, one. Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Ooh, try your eyes. The world can always give you Cry. Understand you're stronger than you know There's power in your bones The flowers that you've grown No water by your tears You 
All right, progress update so far, and it might be a little noisy because our suite maintenance staff is outside power washing. They opened the door for me when I got here because my hands were so full. They are the best. Um, okay, so here's what I did. I got some puzzles from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to add to the stem bins, but um, my friend Autumn and I have discussed this like two years ago. She got puzzles for her classroom. You know how it is. Puzzle pieces get missing. They fall on the floor. It happens on accident all the time. And you wanna be able to put them back in the right place. So I cut out like the picture from the box and that's going in the stem bin. And then I put a matching letter on the back of all of them. I know, I'm sorry, it's loud, so just bear with me. Um, a matching letter, so this is like puzzle A. So if we find a puzzle piece on the floor, we know it goes in puzzle A. So I got like the little cupcake one and then you saw the Toon Squad one as well. And then I'm also adding these to my stem bins. These are from Teachers Pay Teachers and I will link them in the description for you and they're by brain flakes and they're just like task cards with the brain flakes i remember i was talking about that was it this vlog the vlog before i don't know about how i needed task cards for those brain flakes so it's like build a rescue vehicle how cute is that build your favorite sport and so it gives them like a prompt and then it gives them some examples but then they could just like take that prompt and run with it so they don't have to build these sports they could build whatever so i'm putting these inside the stem tubs right here with the brain flakes just for like some extra inspo while they're building. So that means that all of these little bins are full for my stem bins. I do have some other things, let me show you. I'm gonna have to take you across the room and show you some other things I got. So I'm gonna need more bins. All right, you guys, it's still noisy. So just bear with me, turn me up. Um, they're just power washing outside. But I got these things from my childhood best friends family, the Klebers, and I'm so grateful for these. They're like the um, little straw, bendy straws, and they come with the connectors. It's actually really cool. Like, look at what you can do with these. I did not know you could make structures that big with these. So cool. Um, so that will be fun. I'll have to like, oh yeah, and it comes with a book with all kinds of ideas of what they could make. So I love that it comes with that. And it's also in this amazing bag, but I'm probably gonna take it out of the bag, um, to be honest, and put it into a bucket. But I'm out of buckets and I also only have the small buckets left. So I've had some on my wish list for a while. I haven't gotten them yet, so I might just like pull the plug and get them. But they're like Sterilite bins that will hold more. And so I'm gonna need some for these and then like those magnet tiles that I showed you guys. Um, so I'll just start a collection of those. I'll have like the mini stem bins and the bigger stem bins, but this is gonna go in one. And then the Cleavers also sent me a box full of Play-Doh. So I've got lots and lots of Play-Doh colors, but I feel like third graders could be um, responsible with that when once taught, of course, like once taught the expectations with the Play-Doh. But this would need like a bigger stair light bin, I think as well. And then they also sent me this amazing book i'm so excited um how to draw 101 animals i was like you know some kids like to build but some just like to draw you know there's always that like one or two artistic children i mean you have lots of artistic children but you know like every year you get like one who loves to draw so i'm very excited about this and i might be using this too i mean like look how cute this is from amazon i'll link it um it's in my storefront amazon storefront linked below under stem bins so there you go um so i'm going to do that with like a pad of paper and I'll put that in a bin, but of course I need a bin for that. Um, so I'm really excited because that's like a really huge start for my stem bins. Like the vision that I had is coming to life and I'm like thrilled. Um, and then before I continue to time lapse you and get things done in my room, I got an Amazon package from a sweet, sweet follower. And she sent me some books and I could not be more excited. And this is from Ashley at sparkled teacher on instagram y'all the cool bean wait for it the smart cookie wait for it the bad seed wait for it and the couch potato i've never had any of these books and i always see people reading them and i'm like oh man those are such great books and i wish i had those I have them and they're gonna go with my books they're gonna be my babies for a while because they're so nice and new and they still have like the sleeve on them but i'm so excited ashley when i got these in the mail i was like flooded with gratitude i cannot believe oh my gosh like that is so generous of you and i'm so grateful so thank you thank you and then she also sent me 
a chapter book that she loves called Third Grade Angels. So this is one of her favorite chapter books to read with her third graders. I'm gonna take some of my chapter books home to do some reading because I have like a wedding I'm going to this weekend and I'm gonna be in the car for a long, long time. And so I'm gonna take a couple of them home and this will definitely be one that I take home because I'm looking for like a good read aloud for the beginning of the year. Um, that way I can read some in the car and like become more familiar with all the books because I haven't I haven't read all of the books, all the chapter books that I just got because I just got a bunch of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazon wishlist items for the win. Needing more stem bins. Anything else that I was going to say? I don't think so. I think that's it. So I got extra puzzles also. I have Alice in Wonderland. I have Raya and the Last Dragon. And then I have the Avengers. So I'll probably put these in like my... Um, games cabinet just so they are extra so I can swap them out I have not labeled them yet because labeling those two was plenty um and the next thing I'm going to do is I've got curtains that I can put up and things to hang on my boards so let's get started with that if you just let go and fall into the garden that you grew you would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new You guys, I think I'm obsessed. So I watched Lauren from Putting Them First here on YouTube. If you have not been watching her classroom setup series, you need to go watch it. And she added this quote to her kindergarten room. It says, kind is cool. And after I watched it this weekend, I was like, that is a cute quote. I want it. And I knew I had room up here because I didn't know what I was gonna do with this board. So here we have it, kind is cool. It might be backwards for y'all. I don't know. But the reason it took me so long is because somebody left a genius comment on I don't know what part it was like part three of my video and they were talking about how if I do the border the black border and I like staple it on the edge so it covers up the metal frame the bulletin board will be bigger <sighs> why didn't I think about that when I put these pieces up so I had to take every border piece down and move it out a little bit and I wasn't going to do it I was like oh that would have been a good idea next time if I changed the border but then I put the word kind on there and it was too big and I was like okay we're doing this so I moved all the pieces the board looks a little bit bigger now but I actually like it a lot more without the metal around the side so I'm gonna flip you around so you can see the quote just in case this is backwards there you have it kind is cool the stony clover letters and the cute little patches oh my gosh it is so cute, I love it. And then this back area, let me move my tripod so you can see like the full vibe of the back of the room with the little palms that I ha hung up last time, had hung. Um, my little banner that matches my theme. And then I still have room up here if I wanna put things, but I might not, because my friends and family will go over here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Next thing I'm going to do is hang curtains.
All right, you guys, here are the curtains. Could I have gotten some fabric that like matched my theme exactly? Sure. Did I want to? No. I've used these since my very first year of teaching. Fun fact, these are tablecloths that were on sale at Ollie's, kind of like a discount store. And then I hung them with shower curtain rods. I don't know if you can see it, but they're thicker than the curtain rods and they're pretty cheap. So, and then I just, we had a lady, my very first year teaching who lived where we lived, who was like a great um, seamstress. And so she just folded the tablecloth over and sewed it so it would fit on that shower curtain rod. Work smarter, not harder, y'all. Like these are probably, I mean, this came in one big pack, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know. If anything, they were maybe five bucks each total. Like, I'm serious. These were like super discount. So I wasn't about to like go get new ones just for my classroom theme when I think these look great. And at first when I hung them and I was standing up there, I was like, dang, this covers a lot of the window. I wonder if it'll like block a lot of the light. But now that I'm standing back, I kind of need to fluff that one a little bit. But now that I'm standing back, I just kind of like it. It makes it feel like really homey to have curtains and like really put together. So there's the curtains. Okay, and then the other thing I did was finally finish this border. Oh my goodness. You guys, I've been working on this since literally part three, and here we are in part six. The border is finished, and I used headings. These are from Rachel Burnett's pack, but she didn't have white ones in there, so my husband helped me like remove the color back here because I just didn't want to do color. I felt like the borders were already colorful enough. So I printed her buntings just in white. And then I used colored pencils to like color in a few stars to match the border. So all those colors were colored pencils that matched that exact border. That way it wouldn't be like too much. And I really like how that turned out. So I'm going to use that for, I don't know, goals, anchor charts, things for ELA. I printed these info letters. This is going to be like my board with the calendar. Eventually I'm going to put my schedule cards on this board and also my student helper information on this board, which I haven't printed. I will do that soon. Then of course I did the same over here for math. So I printed it in the white and just colored in a few stars to be tasteful to match the border. And I really, really like how that looked. I don't know if y'all have ever been setting up your classroom and like you go home over a long weekend and you haven't been in your room in a couple days and then you feel like you just get this feeling like nothing's working, nothing's going together. I don't like how it's turning out. I came in today and that's a lie. It looks great. And those headings are absolutely perfect. So I love how it's turning out. My um, panic from this weekend, all gone. Um, I'm checking the time. I have to cut some things on my Cricut before I leave um, for my friend Autumn for her classroom. And I was thinking maybe I could do the command hooks for the Christmas lights to go up there before I leave as well. And then if I do those two things, then I got the majority of what I wanted to accomplish done. All right, I have finished everything that I can finish. I hung the Christmas lights with command hooks. I like it okay. It's kind of a hot mess up there because I just like went around and around because I didn't want it to like hang over by the fire alarm. So that's kind of a hot mess, but I fixed it on the board. So it looks good. They're not on right now. I'll turn them on another time. Um, I finished cricketing. Oh, and I put my cricket right here on my counter. And for right now, it's going to live out right there. Um, I have the case and I can put it in a cabinet back in our workroom, but I kind of like it on the counter right there. It's a nice bookend for now. And at least for the rest like of the month of August when I'll probably be using it more, that's a good place for it to stay. Um, but that's it. And y'all, I don't know if I'm doing another classroom setup video. Um, really, I just have like odds and ends left, like putting name tags on the desk, which I did decide to do student names after reactions and suggestions from part four. So I have to do that. Um, I have to hang like the bathroom lights, but everything I have left are like tiny things and I don't know when I'm going to get them done. So, cause I'm only here like two more days this week and I'm probably not coming in tomorrow. So I could come in on Wednesday and get some of those things done, but that's about it. So this is like the state of my classroom. I'll spin you around one more time so you can see. This is the result of all my hard work for classroom setup and it looks amazing. It's not done, but it looks great. So if I end up having more time and like coming in and setting some more stuff up, you might see a surprise classroom setup video. If not, then like the next time I vlog in my classroom, I'll just do a little like walkthrough mini tour, not like a detailed one. I might do a detailed tour later 
in the year once everything's kind of settled. Um, but if I don't do another setup part, you'll just see it the next time I vlog in here. But thank you guys so much for all of your comments and your interactions on my setup series. It has been so fun. Y'all have had great suggestions and really helped me figure out what to do in this new space. I'm really excited with how it turned out. And I have like, um, let's see, one, two and a half weeks until students are in this room. So I still have some things to do before then, but I'm really, really happy with how the classroom turned out. As always, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you've missed any setup parts, I will link that above in the card so you can go to my setup playlist and watch any of the classroom setup that you would like. Stay tuned. I don't know what the next video will be, but it's going to be exciting and I am so glad you guys are here with me. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.